So I don't know about you, but it's been really hard to keep track of everything. I mean, every day kind of feels like Monday. Every day kind of feels like Saturday. Do we even know what day it is? And it's been really hard for my kids to even figure out what's going on. So every day, what's on the schedule? We're missing appointments. Most of them are virtual, but we're missing them. Um, and we're just having a hard time keeping track of everything. So a while ago, I saw ads for the Skylight, uh, Skylight calendar. And they're the same company that makes the Skylight frame where you have photos and you can send them to friends or family if via an app. So it's a digital frame and you put the app on your phone and then you can send whatever photos you have on your phone to the frame. So my parents have a frame like that and it's been great. We love it. And so this time I wanted to see what the calendar was all about. And it also includes um, photos. So I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna unbox it for you right here. So this took just a few days to arrive from the time I ordered it, um, maybe four or five days. It wasn't a long wait at all. And it comes in this box, um, nothing on the back. And I will open it and show you what's included. This is the actual frame. Let me take it out of the plastic. I'm trying to get my fingers all over it. Um, so in the back it has you can see a play button, pause, power button. Um, you can see where the stand is going, the outlets. And then it came with a wire right here. This is the stand, which I will be using, and just a standard plug. Okay, so first thing it says is to get started with this, you need to go to this website and activate an account you need to create a unique Skylight email address. Um, and then I'll receive a six digit activation code. And you can also sync your calendar with your existing online calendar. This is actually what I'm really gonna use it for. Google, Apple, or Outlook. I happen to use Apple, so um, that's, that's how I'm gonna use that. And it says all events update automatically. So again, I just have to set everything up, sync it. We'll see how hard that is. And then I think you're pretty much ready to go. So the features it includes, it has a touch screen. So tap the screen to switch between the day, week, and month view. And this is the reason I kind of chose this over the Google Nest is I just, I just think visually, it looks more like a regular calendar. So a monthly calendar, I wanted to be able to see everything. And you can tap on an event to see the attendees. Color coding, that's another thing I wanted to do. I can change its category. I can tap on the color code circles in the top right hand of my calendar to update the, cal the color or label of a category. So from my understanding, I think each kid could have their own color, which is helpful. I'll see how well that integrates with my Apple calendar, my iCal. And the last thing you could do a grocery list, which is really helpful if you keep it downstairs. I think mine is gonna be upstairs but you can um, add items to your grocery list with this. So I'm gonna start setting up the email and activate everything. You don't really need to see that. It's gonna be kind of boring, um, but I will be back once everything is set up. Okay, I'm gonna save you the trouble of a few things I learned. One, don't use your computer, just use your phone. You're gonna to have to download an app anyway. Um, first thing, which I kind of skipped over is you need to set up your Wi-Fi. So. Um, you're gonna, once this is plugged in, definitely connect your Wi-Fi. I forgot my password. I don't know how that's possible, but I was screwing it up. Um, and I finally got my Wi-Fi set. Okay, so I haven't played with this at all, but let's see. Showing me next month. This is what's going on. I can go into the day. So just today, it's spring break. We don't really have much, anything going on. It's spring break and it's you know, during a pandemic. So not much is happening. And again, the week, not all my events are on here. I can tell. Um, but this is, this is pretty much everything. Schedule. So it says view event lengths, overlap, and more. Tap an event to view its details. Tap and hold on a blank space to create an event. Pinch and zoom to increase or decrease the number of hours you will see. Scroll up and down to see the rest of the day. 
swipe left and right to see previous and future dates. So I'd have to play with that. Let's go into settings. I don't know. I think this is to snooze it at night so it's not so bright. Yeah. So I can turn this off at night, um, which I probably will do. Okay, so photos are up. So I just wanted to show you quickly. Here are a couple of photos. And you see these are the vertical ones. So that's why they are appearing like this. But again, if I had it horizontal, I think that would be a lot better. You just touch the screen and it'll go back to the calendar and get out of the photos. Okay, so I've actually moved the calendar to where it's really gonna go. It's in a bookcase in the hallway where everyone can see it. This is my bedroom, so I don't want everyone coming in. Um, but I did wanna say that I did figure out how to do the synced um, scheduled calendar, the calendar that did not belong to me. That was the soccer schedule. And I watched videos, I Googled it, I followed Skylight's instructions and it didn't seem to work, but finally, and I can't show you because it's on my phone, but I will show you on my, um, I will show you in the blog post. But what you need to do is when you're, you go into the Skylight app and then you can add a calendar and then there's a place where it says URL. So you're gonna grab the URL from the scheduled calendar. And this sounds confusing. I'll show how to do it. And you paste it and now everything appears. So now I have all my um, Google Meets are in my calendar that are scheduled and we're able to also change the color. So now I have, I assigned my son one color and I did it once to a Google Meet and he has recurring Google Meets. And now every time it shows his label with his name and his color. So that's kind of cool. And then with soccer, now that's all automatically on there. My daughter, I did the same thing. She has recurring times. I did a, I gave it her name, I gave it a color and now I can see hers, you know, it, it's all throughout. So um, anyway, it's so far it looks pretty good. Um, there were a few things to figure out, but I do think I did figure it out. And I don't know, everyone seems pretty happy. So I will keep you updated. And again, if you like this video, please subscribe. And even better, go onto my blog where I will be, you know, going into a lot of detail with this and other products. Thanks. Okay, so some of the additional information that I found, I will put in a blog post. Um, things like how to sync the calendars. You know you have many calendars, probably if you're like me, how to do that. Hopefully I'll have that scheduled calendar resolved. Um, I'll tell you how to email the photos to yourself. Um, I think it's also helpful to make that email address a contact so you don't have to type it each time. And I will go through how to set up the app and do everything else. So if you have any questions, um, just please shoot me an email. And again, I just had it switched to one minute, which is a little too short on time, I think. But anyway, um, I hope I like this and I hope it makes life easier. I do have a link below if you wanna buy it from Skylight Frame. I look forward to writing this post and to chatting with some of you. Thanks.